It's my feel-good breakfast show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one yes, thing. Yes, it's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for the culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. And there we go. Of course, our foodie expert is standing by to answer all of your burning foodie questions. And if you have any culinary questions, please feel free to call us live on 021-430-9881. We have the lovely Anel Potgitter in this week's culinary hotline. Anel, awesome to have you. Thank you very, very much. Um, um, I love this culinary hotline because mm -hmm. we are standing at the end of the month. A lot of people are like counting the cents at this stage. And also, if you at home have any uh, uh, tips mm. or uh, ideas on how to stretch your rand a little bit with regards to food and recipes, give us a call 021-430-9881. All right, Anel. So I think let's start with mm -hmm. uh, proteins. Uh, the proteins, are, of course, uh, the more expensive part of yes. your meal, you know, to try and fit in at the end of the month. Um, how can we save on buying meats to get that protein full? Yes. I think the biggest thing is, as you say, is the proteins that the greatest part of your budget. Yes. So go for the toughest, toughest sections of the meat because that is the least, um, the least expensive. Okay. So it's good to Like your stewing so, beef. Yeah, your stewing beef and your neck and your start and that is good is good to right. Then as well, like whole, like chicken. Buy a whole chicken. I looked yesterday, like a whole chicken is between say mm. forty and fifty rand a kilo. As soon as I start chopping it off and use labour around it, yes. it goes to about a hundred rand. A kilo. A double, so just yeah. chop it up yourself. You <laughs> yeah. And then another thing is like pork is also underutilized. Like a big piece of pork. I get for my Rick Saturday pork up a brown heart. We had it mm. Monday, Tuesday, and he had it in his lunchbox this morning. Oh, really? So okay. all the different pieces, and you just rework it, you know. Yeah, so pork it, can, pork. it can go fair. So, yes. so, okay, so focus on, on the cuts of meat so that's, yes. that is less expensive, specifically towards this yes. month. But that doesn't mean that you still can't eat nice. Yes. Um, so, so, what type of the recipes are we looking yeah. Yeah. We're looking at because it has to be longer in the oven or longer cooked. So it's your casseroles, your soups, and it works stir fry. As you have your flank steak, you clap, clap on my bicky, make that roller. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you make it tenderize it yourself and you cut it into strips, you can use it as a stir fry. And there is nothing wrong with the curry mints on toast. Mints is a big thing. It's it's delicious. Yes. You can't go wrong with it. Yes. And mince you can also stretch to, you, you can grate some carrots in it or butternut in it. So you can actually stretch the mince to go further with it. Okay. And yeah, so that is one of the things. Definitely yeah. that. So, so what if you, you don't want to use meat, if maybe mm. a meat alternative mm. to help uh, stretch your hand a little bit? That's actually cheaper. Yeah. Um, I, I looked last night again, a packet of lentils is about 20 rand. Mm. So if you use lentils or any pulses, beans, lentils, lentils, chickpeas, you can make beautiful dishes out of it. You can buy it in the tins, you can make a beautiful salad out of it. You can chuck chickpeas in the oven, you can um, and crisp it up and it's a beautiful yeah. snack. And another thing is popcorn, just so by the way. Okay. As okay. a snack, yes. because it's so cheap. And you buy a yeah. packet of popcorn and it's cheap just for a snack as well. I must say, I'm a big fan of lentils. And mm. I've even used lentils to make like a, a, a lentil burger patty. Yes. Which is also phenomenal and it's a great substitute for meat. Yeah. You get your protein and you get your fiber, which yes. is great. Which you won't get them from the meat. And it's lacquer in good group. That's lacquer in this good group. Mm. So once again, if you have any questions, Anel is standing by. Or if you want to share some tips as to how mm. you save money with regards to the end of the month food problem. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all We've see. We've got a big one. Give us a call. 021-430-9881. It's my feel good show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. Thank you, Mr. Brett Calopy. Lovely to see your hood on this Wednesday morning. But right now, we welcome you back to the Culinary Hotline Bling. Ting, ting, ting. Yes, we are focusing on beating a very tough January month with some great tips for food and meals to prepare that are not going to break the bank on our Port Gitterin studio. Give us a call if you have any questions, uh, maybe questions as to how you can stretch around even a little bit more. 021-430-9881. That's our number. Or if you want to share some tips as to how you do it this time of month, that's also very, very welcome. Anel. Um, okay, cool. So we know that eating healthy is expensive. Uh, New Year's resolutions has kicked in, uh, made New Year's resolutions to eat healthier, lose weight, be more fit. Mm. But how do we continue making sure that we still eat healthy even though we are on a very strict budget because mm. we all know that January is like three mm. months long. 
Yes, I think everybody is very carb conscious these days. Yes. So to cut out the carbs, I would say, um, um, and, and don't use too much potatoes or whatever, but is to add grains, full grains to your meats, so whole grain, um, barley, um, wheat, and stuff like that, to add it to bulk up your your, your, your pot that yes. you are going to cook. So I think that is one of the good things. The other thing is also like fresh vegetables as well. Like if you can buy carrots, use it different way. You can, I bought like a, a whole box of tomatoes last week for 35 Rand and I did so many things. I ate the whole week, it's really neat tomatoes, okay. but it was only 35 Rand. So yeah. it was beautiful. But look at carrots. You can make beautiful things with carrots. If you can buy carrots, a few yeah. carrots, like I said, two kilogram of three kilogram cup. You can bake them in the oven with cumin seeds with olive oil is delicious okay you could add it to a bit of potato make like a t t yes. potato and carrot mash with white pepper and loads of butter healthy not That's healthy <laughs> and, and then you can puree it for your children so it's really just using things in a very creative way that's a thing and you know what talking about children of mm. course I think a big challenge for parents out there is to make sure that kids get the right nutrients yeah. and vitamins and all of that in uh, especially when you are thinking about buying foods on a budget yes I think it's about the cooking method don't boil it too much so all the nutrients cook okay. I think a very good method is like steaming or pureeing your method but nutri kids has also got like new products on the market that will give you that foundation for your kids okay so we have the clover nutri kids we have some full yeah. cream milk with some full cream milk powder some drinking yogurt yes. so, so you get calcium vitamins iron protein eight vitamins four b vitamins so definitely a lot of vitamins and minerals yes. in there which is a great substitute as well to to kind of add into your health exactly it's routine. a good start it's a really yeah. a good start and the kids will love it yeah. as well and i must be honest i think people underestimate veggies specifically you know uh, I, I get laughed at all the time mm. because i'm a big fan of broccoli and i eat it raw just like that i know it's delicious it's delicious it's got yeah. a good crunch to it i yes. won't lie yes um but but you don't lose any of the nutrients by exactly. eating it that way i, I lived down in spain when i was there is to cook um, cauliflower in a pan with just beautiful olive oil and paprika and you just actually braise it, braise it, braise it. It's the most delicious thing I've tasted yeah. in a very long time. In so Spain. use your vegetables, yeah. Did the rain in Spain fall yes. on the plane? Yes, 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 okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the culinary hotline. We're going to be back with Anel talking about how you can stretch your ran and still continue to eat healthy and delicious recipes in just a bit. Nutri-Kids, good for mom, way better for kids. Made with love by Clover. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Yeah, here we go, here we go. It's a Culinary Hotline Bling. Ting, ting, ting on your Wednesday morning. Yes, Anel Potkitter joins us talking about how you can actually manage towards the end of January. I know the budgets are tight, but we still want to eat delicious foods. Yes. And we got some great tips coming your way. 021-430-9881, that is the number. Now, Anel, we had a call from uh, um, Cynthia from Durban. Yeah. And you spoke about the carrots and you can make that in the, uh, in the oven with uh, oil and cumin, which is amazing. Yes. She asked, do you use expensive oils or yes. can you use... Uh, your regular day-to-day -day kind of sunfire oil maybe? I think if you want to eat healthy, buy olive oil, a good olive oil. It's going to last you for three, four months. Okay. But at least you know you're getting in the right oil. Okay. Put it that way. Okay. You know, so I would prefer using olive oil with it yeah. instead of normal cooking oil. But can you? You can. Okay. You can <laughs> if you want to. Okay, what about like blended olive oil? Yes, definitely blend it with seed because oil. You can cheaper, definitely yeah. blend it with seed oil. You can use with that, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Well, yeah. there we go. Cynthia, yeah. that's healthier and cheaper. Now we have another caller from Durban. Wendy, good morning. Hello. Hi, good morning. Lovely, lovely, Wendy. Um, Happy New Year, first, of all, first and foremost. We'll say that for the entire January. Um, <laughs> you've got an interesting recipe to share that's, that's easy on the wallet. Yes, I have, actually. Um, I used to belong to a women's club at our church many years ago, and um, we had uh, a meatloaf recipe that, when it was actually cooked and um, sliced, it, the men used to think that what we cooked it for, used to think that it was actually roast beef. Oh, wow. Because it was so tender, yeah. That, that sounds delicious, so, so yeah. It's very easy. It's actually um, very versatile because um, you take your mince, say a kilo of mince, you um, layer it out into um, like a rectangle, roll it out, sort of flatten it, and you can cover it with um, grated cheese, bacon, ham, 
feta, anything that you like, um, and salt and pepper, obviously. Um, obviously, so you first mix your mince with some grated onion yeah. and an egg and so on, and, um, and then you lay out what you want on it, and then you roll it up. Wow. And with, with, um, you lay it on some foil, obviously, and then you roll it up, and you put it into um, a loaf pan. Okay. And you bake it at about 180 um, for, say, half an hour, three quarters of an hour. And, um, and out you've got this lovely roll of, um, of mints, which and then you can add hot or cold. It's delicious served hot or cold. It's definitely easy on the wallet. Thank you very much yeah. for sharing that. You, you actually made me hungry now. I'm going to go home and try that. I'm salivating. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah. Gosh. That is all right. delicious. But once again, like you've proven, using mints yes. to, to kind of stretch it and yes. make something delicious and still stay within your budget. Yeah, and I think the little bit of ham and cheese also were just lying in your fridge, perhaps. You don't have to go and buy it. So yes. use stuff that's in your fridge. And if you don't have cheddar cheese, use whatever little bit of cheese you've got in there. Wow. And I like the idea that she's flavoring the meat, you know, beforehand. Because you need to flavor it with onion or parsley or some other yeah. flavoring the mince before it sounds amazing it sounds amazing oh yeah. I can just some cheese some mm. bacon some green peppers mm. in there as well some salt pepper maybe some paprika would be great as well so oh wow Ali. Wendy I can no hunger I can no buy hunger <laughs> um, give us a, a call we have one more segment left with Anel 021 if you want to share an interesting recipe that you have found to mm. save your bucks it's my feel good breakfast show Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline, please. Oh, dude, I saw that coming a million miles away. Leanne just couldn't help herself. It was. <laughs> At least now your face is clean, man. Yeah, there's your face washed for the day. Um, listen, one last time, back with Anel Putkita right now. It's our culinary hotline. Bling, ting, ting, ting. Here we go. Yes, talking about how you can stretch your buck using uh, rather interesting ingredients and also still eating healthy and deliciously. So, Anel, uh, you've gave us some great tips, all right? Um, we, oh, we have a call. Uh, Helena. Hello. Hi, Hi, Helena from East London. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely Good. to talk to you this morning. Yes, morning. and vice versa. So, so what do you have for us this morning? I have this tip which goes back to my mother. She was very frugal and she was forever making soups. So whenever I have a drawer in the fridge full of leftover bits and pieces of vegetables, you can saute those in uh, olive oil for a while and then add uh, some stock and make a lovely soup if you want to make a cold mm -hmm. soup. You can, for instance, use your broccoli that you like and um, blend it up into a puree type of soup and put in a swirl of yogurt and there you go, you have a fancy soup. You see and that? that can be a starter for every meal, which then you don't need such a huge main course. Yes. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Oh, sounds, sounds absolutely so delicious. delicious. Thank you very much, Helen, yeah. and have a lovely day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Once again, Helen, just proving that vegetables, you know, is the go-to, especially at the end of the month. They're healthy. They have rich in yes. nutrients as well. You've got an interesting recipe. So if somebody wants to make a recipe from scratch, yes. um, but still want to stick to their budget, what advice do you have? I just want to say, the, 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 the cooked vegetables, like baked vegetables that you find in the shop that's already, it's yeah. so expensive. Yeah. And so much more satisfying making your own. And the easy way is to just to take a bit of Nutri-Mix milk. You okay. can just mix you that. All right, Oops, see you more good. <laughs> yeah, you add a bit like a cup of that, and then you add a bit of um, mazina, or corn right. flour, and then you can flavour this with paprika, with cheese, with whatever you want you All want right. to do, and then you just add your veggies. Oops, no, Add yeah, your veggies there. to your bowl. All you right. cut the carrots up, but I'm just going to chuck them in like yeah. that. They're going to soften up anyway. Yeah, they're going to soften up. You pour this over it, and you pour. Add a bit of grated cheese, and you're going to have a lovely veggie bake. Very simple, very easy, and is that, very Is cheap. that all the liquid you need, or would you No, you're going to add it? a bit more. Yeah, for you, it's now buy a buy a great yeah. bucket. Would you, would so, you so, two copies, uh, 12, but... Okay, so yeah. it just needs to nice sit, yes. sit in the liquid. Yes, yes. And then you bake that in the oven, and you have a delicious... Delicious meal. Yeah. Add a bit of seasoning, and Bob's your uncle. And Bob is your uncle, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'll thank you very much. Uh, for sharing all these wonderful ideas. I mean, uh, I know that January is a, is a big stretch for a lot of people. Um, we can all feel the pinch, I but know. Um, you know, if you have uh, knowledge and ingredients like these, mm. you can survive. Yeah, I just We're survivors. Buy cheaper proteins and go for fresh vegetables. Yes, that don't is underestimate lentils. Mm. Yes. Big fan. Don't yes. underestimate lentils. Yes. Thank you very much. And now, what a Thank lovely, you. this one is such a gem, eh? That's your culinary hotline bling. Ting, ting, ting. ting. ting.
Nutri-Kids. Good for mom, way better for kids. Made with love by Clover.